Hello everyone, today for Art at Home with Miss Lipscomb, we're starting in seashell week. So throughout the week we're going to be making projects that are based off of seashells of different sizes and types. Today we will be focused on spiral seashells. So we will be creating custom seashells of different types and patterns. Here are some spiral seashells to be inspired by. These are simple seashells that we can find at the beach and many other places. Make sure you have a piece of paper and something to write with. We're going to start by practicing our spiral lines. Make sure you have markers and crayons with you. Start with your paper and something to write with and we're going to begin with a small dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a spiral line coming from it. This part is simply to practice your lines, this will not be the final project. Make sure you follow what I'm doing here, just in case you have any trouble with your spiral lines. So grab a new piece of paper and something to write with, preferably a pencil because this will help if you mess up and you don't have to get a new piece of paper. We're going to repeat the same steps that we did to create our spiral lines. But there's going to be one extra step at the end of each spiral line. And that is to connect the end of your line to the other part of your spiral line. This is creating your spiral seashell. Repeat this as many times as you would like to have a seashell. They can be large and they can be small. Next we can get to decorating, so first you want to grab a color that you would like to use, a marker preferably, and you're going to outline your seashell. We're going to do this for each one. Once you finish your outline, you can go ahead and add any pattern that you would like. I decided to draw extra little triangles on the inside of my seashell to create this pattern. You can go ahead and grab your crayons and begin coloring it in. Again, this is all up to you. You don't have to do it exactly like I do it, but this is your custom seashells. So go wild. Next, you're going to do the same thing with your other seashells, but just use different colors. Just so we can make them different and have a nice variety. Remember to start off with the outline and then you can draw anything on the inside. I decided to draw a line that follows the spiral pattern. And then I'm going to color it in on each side. You're going to decorate all of your seashells until you are completely done with all of them.
fourth and fifth. Great job today guys. I will see you tomorrow for Art at Home with Miss Lips Combs.